Hey, good morning to everybody. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to this new episode of Hybrid Solution Diagnostics. I know I've been lost for a lot of time, but you have to remember that Jose is doing now TikTok. Now, if you've been lost with Hybrid Solution Diagnostic, just go to Hybrid Solution Diagnostic TikTok and you will see me there in action every single day. <laughs> okay, but in the meantime, this is going to be a very short episode and I want to share with you guys what would be the worst or what actually is the worst mistake that you might be doing when installing a new battery module or let's say in this case or replacing the battery for a lithium upgrade for example okay so uh, the problem is there are many issues that you need to be considering when installing a new module that could affect the battery's performance so if you want to learn stick around and we will continue then Okay, so let's get things clear, okay? This is uh, this is actually a Mazda 3 hybrid or the Mazda Axola, but as you can see, it uses the very same battery from the third generation Toyota Prius or the nickel metal hydride modules. But this recommendation comes because let's say that the customer wants to replace the battery and they want to assemble, for example, the Nexel battery, all right? Which is a great option, by the way, because the manufacturer gives two years full warranty. You might be making a very big mistake if you don't know, okay? So follow these tips and you will know what in the world is going on because there's a lot of problems happening. A lot of people complaining that some lithium batteries are failing, but the thing is, let me explain the situation. When I go to, search, to check the vehicle with some of my customers, some of my online people contacting me, and then I begin to do a research or, or dig in the customers that I physically check, then I find many many physical issues in the battery that affect even the lithium battery and then of course the original will affect of course they will that's why they actually go bad but if you install a new one let's say you install a neat lithium battery or you install f some foreign use uh, aftermarket modules whatever okay the battery won't be in good condition now why well just give me a few minutes and i'll show you Oh, say you do a lot of talking, so go directly to the point. Well, today is Saturday, so it's going to be a little noisy out here. All right. Now, the thing is, let's say this uh, third generation Toyota Prius or Mazda 3 hybrid, it has a problem. The battery is completely bad. We already low test the module. We calculate all the module's capacity and the battery giving trouble. We know that. And it's time to replace. But let's say I brought the new... Nexel battery and I'm going to install it. So I take out the battery da, 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 and install everything. Put it back in the vehicle. The vehicle works fine for a few days, a few weeks, a couple of months, and then I have our again the check engine light and saying that the battery is in bad condition. What in the world? Let me show you. First of all, of course, the traditional corrosion within the battery modules. But the, one of the main problem is that we need to understand inside the battery's chemistry. What in the world happens inside this module? Well, the original uh, batteries from Toyota is nickel metal hydride that has six individual cells with a liquid electrolyte inside. That it once, because when you drive in the vehicle, there's a lot of current flow, high current flow, back and forth, back and forth, make the battery heat for sure. Okay, we understand that. But this battery is also used a very powerful cooling active cooling air cooling system that keeps the battery cool enough blowing the air between the battery modules gap and that's it this becomes a very effect a very efficient heat exchanger but the other thing is of course over time dust and debris will clog the uh, gap between them and then will cause the battery heat but the other thing is once again the liquid electrolyte inside if the battery heats over time the elect liquid electrolyte will try to leak out and will cause this corrosion that you can clearly see over there. And look at the connecting locks. The connecting locks that are supposed to be shiny gold, right? Okay, we know that. We have tons of videos explaining this. But installing the new battery, installing the new battery is super important because I want to install my Nexel lithium battery and I put it right here. The thing is, 
If you don't clean the connecting logs, the connecting logs or the boss bars is going to go cause high internal resistance that it's also going to damage the lithium battery because a high internal resistance will cause voltage drop, hence overheat. Okay, we also know that. But then the other mistake, very big mistake, is that if you change, let's say that you change the connecting logs, we have another big problem. Take a look at the cable monitoring system. For example, let me see one over here. Look at this one. Can you see my point? Look at the corrosion between the cable monitoring system. Well, this corrosion that comes from the battery will travel through this cable. Let me see, let me show you. And it's going to finally reach the high voltage battery management system, which is going to cause a very, very big uh, problem in the battery because you will have bad readings and because it's not reading properly, the computer cannot control the high voltage battery, then it's going off control and once again, it's going to overheat. So everything finally reaches to or gets to overheating the high voltage battery. And one of the biggest problem is, let me show you. So besides the connecting logs, besides the cable monitoring system is the big cables itself. All right, now the thing is, usually because of the current flow of the battery, all right, the positive cable, usually it's in very, very nice shape. Now the negative cable, it's another story. Let me show you, can you see? All right, negative cable, apparently looking good, right? Let me see, they're looking good, right? Wrong, look again. So what I did with this cable, let's open it up. And look at now the physical connection between the cable and the copper wiring. Can you see the connection? Now this is catastrophic because remember this is the main negative outlet from the battery directly to the vehicle. And if you have this level of corrosion over here, just imagine how much high resistance this is going to cause and finally this is going to cause the battery to go bye-bye. So once again, we need when you service it or when you install any new batteries or whatever, you have to be aware of absolutely all the connection because this is happening almost. I'm not gonna say daily, but because I don't manage too much uh, uh, volumes of repairs yet. But the thing is, most of my customers that have or or some that are not my customer that buying the lithium battery that having so much trouble when I'm going to check the batteries. And I find this catastrophe and said, hey, dude, this is not the battery. This is not the battery, the Nexel battery, not at all. The problem is the battery cable connection. Of course, this is going to kill your high voltage battery modules. And then, of course, the warranty won't cover it. So once again, this is the main problem, the big mistakes. Most of the people, most of the technicians, most of the DIY users, they're buying, for example, aftermarket, aftermarket foreign use modules, Nexel lithium battery, whatever, okay? You have to consider not only the module's capacity in order to be in balance, but you also have to consider absolutely, sorry, it's noisy. You have to consider absolutely all these main factors regards to the connecting locks, the voltage monitoring system, then of course, the main cable. The corrosion will make high internal resistance that will overheat your battery. So follow this recommendation. If you see a cable in this condition, don't clean it, just replace it. Believe me, the corrosion is within the cable. It's not even worth it. If you see the cable monitoring system corroded like this, don't clean it. The corrosion is within the cable until it reaches the battery management system. But sometimes, most of the time, the battery management system goes bad as well, okay? So if you follow this recommendation, believe me, whatever modules you assemble, the lithium battery, you won't get any trouble. You won't get any trouble. And if you have any trouble, you will be fully covered by the battery's warranty. So follow Hybrid Solution Diagnostics YouTube channel, and then of course, our TikTok for daily, daily recommendations like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>